Where are we headed to, driver? No man's land. <laughs> oh, okay, they're going then. <laughs> we got a damn good show for you tonight. What do you say, Jane? Yeah, we got a damn good show. Let's get her going. <laughs> All right. Good day, YouTubers. I am heading out today, and lately I've been sticking close to home because I needed some work done to my car. But that work is done, so I am heading out today to a spot I haven't been to in four years. I don't know if there's anything left there to dig, but what I do know is I left a bunch of bottles on the surface, and I'm thinking some of them may have turned color by now. So I'm going to head back there and see if I can collect any of those, and I'll probably scratch around a little bit since I'm there as well, see if anything turns up. I'll get you back up once we get there. Hang tight, folks. It's going to be a couple hours. See you when we get there. Two hours later. Well, I'm on site here now, folks, and boys, oh boys, is this ever grown up. See, here's a... Some of you might remember the spot. Bunch of bottles and stuff here. A lot of old glass come out of here. Look, there's a shard there. Dr. True's elixir. Nice aqua blue one. There's a slicker. I remember I'm looking for any that may have turned color over the past few years. Look at that broken improved gem. That would have been a nice mason jar. Oh, that Raleigh's is busted. These nice horns there. Horners. It's actually a nice bottle. I might take that. Esquire white coat. See, there's a nice old one there. Bottom's chipped. Applied lip on it. Oh. Oh, be careful up here. So yeah, I'm looking around. See, there's some manganese glass there. I know I left a bunch more up here somewhere. I'll have to look through these. There's an old spoon. Look through the bushes here and see if I can find them all. Hang tight. Well, folks, I've climbed through the bushes here and looked around, scratched, I even pulled some branches up and stuff. But just not finding what I thought. I was certain I left a bunch of those long slender olive bottles here. My only guess is that somebody's come along and seen them and snatched them up. Well, there's a, a shoe polish. Unembossed. Right up in here. I'm going to keep looking too by the way. Right here, I see one little corker, right there. Look how purple that is. Yeah, so we'll keep that one. I'll put that there. See, there's another corker there, but it's not changing. There's an amber screw top. There's a few other bottles in through here. I'll keep looking around. I'll get you up if I find anything. There's a lid. Off a pickle jar or something. Well, it probably went on something like that, see? That probably exactly what that went to. We'll take that. And, uh, oh yeah, these horners I want to show you. I'll probably keep this one here. Take the lid off. So I've got cork still in it. That's kind of cool with the cork still in it. Original cork. These ones don't have the cork still in them, but maybe I'll take one of them too. And there's a big one there too. Look at that big one. Maybe I'll take that. I'll take the lid off one of these small ones and put it on the big one. Yep, check it out. Nice. This looks like another one here. Yep. Those are a nice bottle. Look up on this mound again, folks, right underneath this piece of plastic. There's another manganese corker, a little medicine or extract or something. Oh, there's a insulator, but it's chipped. 
unfortunately. This is an interesting mound here. I don't know if I put this mound here or if this is something that I didn't dig. Okay, folks, just a quick little clip here. I want to show you these extract bottles or well, medicine bottles, whatever they are there. You can see they've already or have turned purple. That's a good thing about going back to a site a couple of years later and seeing what you might have left behind that are turning purple. There's that one, and here's this one here. Look how purple this one is already. Wow. Amazing. These, it was worth going back. I take this opportunity to give a shout out to my buddy Ethan, the fabulous free bird, we call him. That's right, the fabulous free bird. Right on, buddy, buddy Ethan. <laughs> Well, still scratched around here, folks. I can see I haven't dug underneath this root clump here. Well, this big tooth just come out. Yeah, I know I left a bunch of bottles here. Somebody must come along and pick them up. Like, better bottles than what you're seeing. There's something down in here. Uh, yeah, just that. If anything comes out from underneath this stump or root clump rather it's pretty crunchy in there but not any good so far what the heck is that I should see if I can get this pulled up Here's something, folks. Oh. <coughs> A gumball machine. Made of durable plastic for safety. Huh. That's different. Right up in here, I see two bottles. This one looks purple. No, it must just been the color on it. heavy though and then here's a green beer bottle or something Dominion glass mark 1930s most likely Got that entire root clump moved. Let's scratch around now. Henry K. Wample, clear one. A little amber. Crack, though. Oh. It's a big old beer bottle. I think that's black glass. Clean it off. Yeah, that's black glass for sure. I think I'll keep that. Nice. Another little amber screw top.
All right, this one just come out. It's a little larger size uh, extract or something, but it's manganese as well. I'll hang on to that one. Early machine made one, pre-1915 most likely. See, all right, so it's good to come back to these places. There's always patches that you didn't dig. You always miss something. I got some nice marbles over here too, actually. Real old ones, German ones. I think I got two of them. Not saying I'm gonna find any today, but it's just that's look. There's a just flip that one up over there. That's a corker. See, that might even end up being manganese. Look, I just hooked the bucket. Let's pull that up out of there and flip it over. Right here. Let's see if anything's in it. Rocks. Lots of rocks. What? Lantern globe. Uh, it's not looking like anything else. I got one folks looks like a little three-in-one oil it's a nice shard pull that up out yeah yeah I'm pretty sure that's what it is yep what a beautiful beautiful aqua blue color wow that's a nice one that's that's fairly early nice all right, so we're getting, uh, we're actually doing pretty good here, folks. I'm going to put these bottles up here in the shade a little bit. My keepers. I might keep that one, too, just in case it turns. That's manganese. Look, that diamond shape didn't come out. That's more like from the 1930s or 40s, though. Let's keep going. Two things about this place, folks. When I first found it, right across the ditch here, I got my first Indian head penny over there. And I believe this is also the place that I got my first cone ink. And look what's right on the shovel here. Cone ink. Wow, that is right way down in there I can't even tell what color it is it might be manganese glass it might be aqua blue I don't know I'm about two and a half three feet down there now This folks just come out cut glass I had something here to wipe it on it's a nice blue color cornflower blue nice pattern all over it Wow that would have been a beauty Real nice. That one down in there. It just looks like clear glass though. Corker, yeah. One of those longer ones. Extract or something. Let that amber one come out too. I didn't show you that one. longer than a few minutes later. I went to turn my camera on to get some footage and 
said my phone was overheating. Wouldn't let me do anything. I had to put it in the shade for a while. This here just come out. Shaker. Looks to be in real good condition. Or is that cracked? No, I think that's cracked. Or is that just staining? No, it's cracked. That's a shame because I can tell it's manganese glass. Yeah, that's definitely cracked. Look at this. Thought I scratched up a good cone ink. That is purple all day long. Bottom's gone out of it though. This tin come out too though. Oh, home salve. Oh, embossed up on the back there too. Home salve uh, manufacturing company Toronto. And then you got a registered number there. Patent Medicine Act. I'm going to take that. That's in good condition. Well, folks, I'm going to get out of here for today. It is blistering hot. I got a bag of goodies there. A bunch of manganese ones, which is nice. Yeah, and that's what I came for here initially, anyways. But I did a pile of digging. Anyways, I don't know if I'll do a wrap up or not, but I got a bag full there. A few all right ones. Anyways, I'm gonna get out of here. Thumbs up, comment down below. Thanks for watching, everybody. Sure do appreciate you. Where are we headed to, driver? No man's land. <laughs> oh, okay, they're going then. <laughs> We got a damn good show for you tonight. What do you say, Jane? Yeah, we got a damn good show. Let's get her, dude.